Hello children, I am your teacher and my name is Jyotsna. Today I will be teaching you a subject. Now you all might be wondering that which subject will I teach you? Hmm? Alright, let me tell you children. Today I am here to teach you English. My dear students, I hope that you all are fit and fine and are using face mask while stepping out of your home. Also children, don't forget to wash your hands regularly with soap and always use sanitizer to keep yourself safe and sound. Children, today we are going to start an exciting journey to the world of noun genders. So let's start. Children, what do you see in the picture? Yes, we see a boy, a girl, television, cartoon, clock. And where is the clock? It is on the wall. So children, as we know that whatever we see or feel around ourselves always is known by a name. Hence, we can say that all the naming words are noun. You have already studied that noun is the name of a person, place, animal, thing or feelings. Students, let's now meet with Rahul's family. Rahul is a boy who lives with his grandfather, grandmother, father, mother and his younger brother and younger sister. Children, from the picture, we can see that there are four male members and three female members in Rahul's family. So children, those nouns which help us to know whether a person is a male or a female is known as gender. Here we can see that grandfather, father, brother and Rahul are male members of the family. Hence, they are kept under the masculine gender category. Whereas, grandmother, mother and sister are female. Hence, they are kept under feminine category. So children, now we can say that gender tells us if a noun is a male or a female. Hence, children, those naming words which tells us about the male or female category are called noun gender. Children, now let us learn about the types of noun gender. There are four types of noun gender as you can see on the screen. They are masculine gender and it refers to the male. The feminine gender is used for female. Common gender is used for both male and female. And neuter gender is used for non-living things. Let us study all these types in detail. When a noun stands for a male, it is called masculine gender. For example, king who rules the kingdom, horse which pulls our cart, drake, boy, ox, father and so on. Children, these all nouns belong to male category and hence 
are known as masculine genders. Children, when noun stands for a female, it is called feminine gender. For example, queen, girl, peahen, cow, mother, sister, and so on. Children, these all nouns belong to female category and hence are known as feminine genders. Alright, when a noun is used for a member of species that can be a male or a female, then it is called common gender. For example, baby, teacher, doctor, child, worker, friend, neighbor and so on. Children, do you know, yesterday I saw a baby and the baby was crying so loudly. But I don't know whether it was a baby boy or a baby girl. I would like to discuss one more example for the common changer. Children, one of my friend was treated by a doctor. But I don't know whether it was a male doctor or a female doctor. Hence, we can say that common genders are the naming words that can be used both for males and females. For example, my teacher is teaching me English. Now, here the teacher can be used for male teacher also. And for female teacher also. A noun is said to be in the neuter gender if it refers to a member of a species which is neither a male nor a female. Children, normally noun referring to lifeless or non-living objects are called Neuter nouns like table on which we sit and here in the picture you can sit, see that a table lamp is kept on the table. So both table lamp and the table are neuter because they don't have any gender and both are non-living things. My second example is book which we study. And which has lot of knowledge. Pen, which help us to write. Tree, that gives us oxygen and keeps our environment clean. Star, which shines brightly at night. School, a place where we go to study. Apart from that, there are many neuter gender like mountain, street, car, chair, paper, pencil, computer, etc. We use all these words regularly in our day-to-day day -day life. Children, now let us find the nouns and identify their genders in these examples. The first example is an ox pulled the cart. Here, ox is a noun and is a masculine gender. Cart is also a noun and it belongs to neuter gender because cart is a non-living object. In my next example, the queen wore a beautiful dress. Here, queen is a feminine gender and dress is a neuter gender. Next example, my uncle is a doctor. Here, uncle is a masculine gender and doctor 
is a common gender. The last example, we respect our elders. Here, elder is a noun which comes under the category of common gender. Children, now we understood how to identify the different noun genders. Now, in this section, we will learn about the method through which we can change the words of masculine gender into words of feminine gender. So, let's start. The first method is by changing the masculine word into a different word. Here, you can see that some words have a different form for a feminine gender. For example, Papa, Mama. Lad, Lass. Fox, Vixen. Husband, Wife. King, Queen. Ox, Cow. Cock, Hen. Students, in some words, we prefix E double S to masculine nouns to change them into the feminine gender. For example, author, authoress. See children, here we added E double S at the end of author. So, the word author changed to feminine gender, authoress. Priest, priestess. Host, hostess. Lion, lioness. Prince, princess. Another rule to form feminine gender from masculine gender is by prefixing E double S after removing the last vowel of the masculine gender. For example, actor, actress, hunter, huntress, waiter, waitress, tiger, tigress. We can also form feminine gender by changing the first or the last word in compound words. Children, as you have already studied that compound words are formed when two or more words are joined together to create a new word that has an entirely new meaning. For example, sun and flower are two different words but when fused together they form Another word, sunflower. Here, in the below table, you can see the set of compound words like milkman. Here, we removed the last word man and replaced it by the word maid. So, as we know children, milkman is a compound word which is made up of two words, milk and man. Here, we have removed man and added maid to convert the masculine gender to feminine gender. Brother-in-law, sister-in-law. Here, we removed the word brother and replaced it with sister. In the same way, landlord, landlady, peacock, peahen. Children, now I hope that the concept of noun gender is very clear to you. Thank you children for watching this video. Stay home, stay safe.